Nekama Sanskrit, is a Pali word generally translated as renunciation or the pleasure of renunciation, while also conveying more specifically, giving up the world and leading a holy life, or freedom from lust, craving, and desires. In Buddhism's Noble Eightfold Path, Nekama is the first practice associated with right intention. In the Theravada list of ten perfections, Nekama is the third practice of perfection. It involves non-attachment detachment. Topic in the Pali literature. Topic renunciation is right intention in the Pali Canon. In a discourse in which the Buddha describes antecedents precipitating his awakening, the Buddha divided his thoughts between those that impair discernment, cause affliction, and deter one from nirvana on the one hand, and those that have the opposite effect. In the former category, he included thoughts permeated with sensuality, ill will and harmfulness, in the latter, thoughts permeated with renunciation, non-ill will and harmlessness, whatever a monk keeps pursuing with his thinking and pondering, that becomes the inclination of his awareness. If a monk keeps pursuing thinking imbued with renunciation, abandoning thinking imbued with sensuality, his mind is bent by that thinking imbued with renunciation. If a monk keeps pursuing thinking imbued with non-ill will, abandoning thinking imbued with ill will, his mind is bent by that thinking imbued with non-ill will. If a monk keeps pursuing thinking imbued with harmlessness, abandoning thinking imbued with harmfulness, his mind is bent by that thinking imbued with harmlessness. These latter three types of thought content, renunciation, non-ill will and harmlessness, comprise the traditional triadic definition of the Noble Eightfold Path's notion of right intention Pali, Sama Sankapa, Skt, Samyak Samkalpa. For each of the former types of thought content, sensuality, ill will and harmfulness, the Buddha stated, whenever thinking imbued with sensuality or ill will or harmfulness had arisen, I simply abandoned it, destroyed it, dispelled it, wiped it out of existence. Topic renunciation versus sensuality Elsewhere in the canon, the Buddha more finely juxtaposes the pursuit of thoughts regarding sensuality and those regarding renunciation .There is the case where the mind of a monk, when attending to sensual pleasures, doesn't leap up at sensual pleasures, doesn't grow confident, steadfast, or released in sensual pleasures. But when attending to renunciation, his mind leaps up at renunciation, grows confident, steadfast, and released in renunciation. When his mind is rightly gone, rightly developed, has rightly risen above, gained release, and become disjoined from sensual pleasures, then whatever fermentations, torments, and fevers there are that arise in dependence on sensuality, he is released from them. He does not experience that feeling. This is expounded as the escape from sensual pleasures. <laughs> Renunciation as a bodhisattva practice As indicated above, in a Pali discourse, the Buddha identified renunciation as part of his path to awakening. In the Buddhavamsa, Jataka tales and exegetical literature, renunciation is codified as the third of ten practices of perfection. Parami. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Contemporary elaborations. Renunciation's benefit Bodhi elaborates on the various and ultimate benefits of Buddhist renunciation Contemplating the dukkha inherent in desire is one way to incline the mind to renunciation. Another way is to contemplate directly the benefits flowing from renunciation. To move from desire to renunciation is not, as might be imagined, to move from happiness to grief, from abundance to destitution. It is to pass from gross, entangling pleasures to an exalted happiness and peace, from a condition of servitude to one of self-mastery. Desire ultimately breeds fear and sorrow, but renunciation gives fearlessness and joy. It promotes the accomplishment of all three stages of the threefold training, it purifies conduct, aids concentration, and nourishes the seed of wisdom. The entire course of practice from start to finish can in fact be seen as an evolving process of renunciation culminating in nibbana Pali, skt, nirvana as the ultimate stage of relinquishment, the relinquishing of all foundations of existence <laughs> <laughs> See also
Topic Notes Topic Sources Bodhi, Bhikkhu, ed. 1978, 2005. A Treatise on the Paramis, From the Commentary to the Karyapitaka by Akariya Dhammapala The Wheel, No. 409-411. Kandy, Buddhist Publication Society. Retrieved 30 June 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash org slash lib slash authors slash bodhi slash wheel 409.html, Bodhi, Bhikkhu, 1984, 1999. The Noble Eightfold Path, The Way to the End of Suffering, The Wheel, No. 308-311. Kandy, Buddhist Publication Society. Retrieved from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash org slash lib slash authors slash bodhi slash html Monier Williams, Monier A Sanskrit English Dictionary. London, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0 198 x Retrieved 12 April 2008 from Cologne University at http colon slash slash sanskrit lexicon uni cone slash scan slash muiscan slash index php question mark sfx equals pdf. Reese Davids, T. W. and William Stade, eds. 1921 to 5. The Poly Text Society's Poly English Dictionary. Chipstead, Poly Text Society. A general online search engine for the PED is available at http colon slash slash dsal uchicago.edu slash dictionaries slash poly slash. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, trans, 1996. Maga Vibhanga Sutta, an analysis of the path SN 45.8. Retrieved 2 July 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash org slash tipataka slash sn slash sn45 slash sn45.008. Then. html. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, trans, 1997. Devedavitaka Sutta, Two Sorts of Thinking. MN19. Retrieved 2 July 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash org slash tipataka slash m n slash m n dot o one nine dot then dot html. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, trans, 2000. Nisaraniya Sutta, Leading to Escape and 5.200. Retrieved 2 July 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash org slash tipataka slash and slash and 05 slash and 05 dot two o dot then dot html. Topic External Links Trading Candy for Gold, Renunciation as a Skill by Thanissaro Bhikkhu Renunciation by T. Prince